new illustrated book for children celebrates the rich achievements and legacy of black and brown people throughout history. It's called We Are Here. It's a follow-up to the New York Times best-selling book, All Because You Matter. The book's creators, best-selling author Tammy Charles and award-winning illustrator Brian Collier are here with us. Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New, Happy New Year. Year. Good to Happy see year. you. Congratulations you on this book. Um, Tammy, this is your second book. We just talked about the first, All Because You Matter. Talk to me about the inspiration for this one. So We Are Here is inspired by the first book, All Because You Matter. Standalone, but they're definitely connected. Um, I... I wrote All Because You Matter because my son had, he was in kindergarten, and he had learned about Dr. King, and he couldn't understand why they treated him so unfairly. Fast forward to the pandemic, we saw a rise of injustice against people of color. So my son came back, he had more questions, and that's when I realized I wasn't done yet. Mm -hmm. I needed to write something that really honored and celebrated our history. Uh, across the globe. So We Are Here is inspired by these conversations with my son. But there's a dedication of this book to your daughter who you say you never got to meet. Yes. How did she inspire this book? So during these conversations when the pandemic hit, um, it made me think of the child that I lost years ago. And I wondered, what would I have said to my child, my daughter, if she had the same questions as Christopher, my son? And I realized I would have taught her about the legacy, the rich legacy from which she comes. So in the book, you'll see Brian did such an incredible job. There's a pink balloon, follows our character all throughout the story. That's grace. But it's also a gentle reminder that we are here for a reason and to make a, an impact on the whole globe. It's beautiful. Thank you. I, um... Gosh, I have so many questions, but Brian, uh, it's, it's gorgeous. It's just a beautiful book. And I think sometimes when parents are reading to their kids as I do, you know, you're, you're reading to them, you're conveying an important message or you're reading a fun story, but then you're holding art in your hands. Sure. This is just true art. How did you break into this? How did you come and illustrate? I know oh. people who are like, I'd love to illustrate a children's book. I'd love to write a children's book. How do you, how do you get into it? I was, I was making art at age 15. Uh, which is sort of late, but uh, in terms of illustration, I went door to door to every major publisher in New York City once a week with a portfolio trying to get a book deal. And finally, somebody said yes. It was Simple Hustle. Yes. Once a week. Once a week. Oh, that's inspiring. That's yeah. your next book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tammy, you talk about the importance of legacy and teaching young children, all children, but especially children of color, the, the important lineage that they come from. You used to be a teacher. Yes. Was, was that something that you felt your students needed to know or, or were missing from their understanding of, of themselves, their, their history? And also, what did, how did your students inspire you to write your first book? So growing up, I really didn't see myself in a lot of the books that I read and always loved reading, but a lot of the characters didn't represent who I was or where I came from. I was born in Newark, New Jersey. Um, fast forward to when I became a teacher, there were definitely more diverse books available. I, I read these stories with my students, stories from Kwame Alexander and Meg Medina, Jacqueline Woodson, and together we would write our own. And my students said, you should become an author. So they kind of gave me the green light and I've been doing this ever since. I, I write for them. Yeah, I love that. So it was the students who said, Pick up oh, a yeah. I, I wanted to be an author. I just didn't think I could. You know, representation is everything. So I was happy to add my voice to the newer, more diverse canon of literature now. And, you know, this comes as there's a big debate in a lot of states about banning certain kinds of books or what is appropriate for schools and libraries right now. Did that have any influence over the creation of this one? Absolutely. So, like I said, when I was a child, I just didn't see a lot of yeah. diverse books. Uh, one of my favorite uh, leaders in this industry is Dr. Rudine Sims Bishop. Mm -hmm. She says books should serve as windows, doors, and mirrors. For me, as a former teacher, I think that's a way to teach our children empathy and respect. And what better way to do that than to write books? So, in the face of these book bans, I'm going to keep writing because I'm writing for them. Let me ask you, Brian, just really quickly sure. about your art, because it is so beautiful. I wonder if the audience can see this. I mean, I just wanted to understand your style. You're, you're showing here a young girl. I love the hair, but she's blowing bubbles. And then there are these this, this planets, these planets, these stars, um, the, 
the, the wood behind her is incredible. How do you, like, what is this style? Where does it come from? It's watercolor and collage combined. Um, I was inspired by my grandmother making quilts when I was a kid. Wow. So when you look at the artwork, it's the influence of a quilt maker. You can see that. On the, on the work. Yes. yes. It's absolutely lovely. Uh, Tammy Charles, Brian Collier, thank you so much for being here. This book's incredible. It's called We Are Here. It is available tomorrow wherever you like to buy your books. Congratulations. Okay, Happy Kevin. New Year. Thank Taking you. one of these home for my daughter. We'll be right back. <laughs>